What's your favorite part of quarantine? Send me a comment below. For my reggae people, put your hands in here right now. Check on me, Mr. Bombastic. Hi, I'm Mishdi Max, and I'm here to show you a lip art I created inspired by the shaggy gig I went to the other week. I based the lip on the Jamaican flag, so I've used black, yellow, and green, and added some glittery fun for the pump and party aspect of the shaggy gig. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. After preparing my lips with bepanthan ointment and letting it soak in for a few minutes, I removed the excess with a cotton bud. I primed my lips with the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Base, as usual. Then I decided to play with the Balm Mary Luminizer because I just got it and I can't help but use it. So I applied it as my Cupid's bow highlight with my stand-up guy. I got out the Rimmel Eye Coal in pure white and outlined my Cupid's bow, defining it with a sharp angular shape and I also lined along the lower edge of my bottom lip, only rimming the center area. And I took my somewhat busted NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and dabbed that over the middle of my lips, about up to where I had lined them to create a white base for the bright colours in the centre. Then I took the Urban Decay 24-7 Eye Pencil in Perversion to complete outlining my lips and define the outer edge and corners. This eye pencil is great for the lips since it's waterproof and sets fantastically. I'm giving myself a guide for the general shape I want, but I can change that later as you will see. I made sure I coloured in the corners well to make sure they had a good base, because it's always hard to get dark lips to behave and remain there. To fill in the corners I went for my Makeup Forever Flash Palette and took the black cream with a spatula and used the back of my hand as a palette, so I could pick up the Product with the Real Techniques retractable lip brush and smear it inside my penciled in lines. I'm being careful not to rub the product across my lips with the brush. I'm using patting motions to make sure the cream is as even as possible. During this step I'm sketching out the shape I want and deciding on what direction I want the look to go. I have a general idea but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do and going in with creamy bases and being able to refine the lines as you go is helpful because they're easy to wipe away. I'm changing the angle of the middle shape and making the black parts on the edge a bit more triangular with more of a slanted angle. I'm using the black pencil from before, the lip brush and whatever else I can get my hands on to bang this lip into shape. It's not a perfect geometrical shape or anything but it gets the point across. Once I was happy with the overall shape, I reached for my Revlon Photo Ready Translucent Finishing Powder to set the creamy white base on the center of my lips, and I used my little middle digit for that. I'm setting it because I think that will make the paints go on better in the next step. I did a bit of refinement of the shape and then moved on to some bright neon colors. I brought out the Cryolan UV Day Glow Aqua Color Palette and I'm starting with this neon yellow. To activate the paint I'm using a spritz of this Aven Thermal Water, then to mix and apply the paint I'm using the Sugar Pill Lip Brush. I'm taking it onto the back of my hand until it is the right consistency and going about shaping my cupid's bow and creating a line along the lower edge of my bottom lip. I decided to bring the paint all the way out to meet the black section and thicken up the yellow area in towards the center of my mouth. I feathered in the color towards the center so there wasn't a harsh line of yellow and it will make the blending of the next color easier. For some reason I had a problem with the paint sticking to my bottom lip and I think it's because I was trying to get it opaque by going over it straight away before the paint was dry. I'm still trying to get the hang of these aqua paints and I have a feeling it only works when the area has completely dried and then you go in with the second layer. I think I'll have to fiddle with it a bit more before I get the technique down. And there's no surprise that the next colour I'll be using is the green shade, also from the Cryoland palette and I'm using the same method as before but taking the MAC 242 flat stiff brush and mixing the aqua colour into my brush then dabbing it over the centre of my lips where the remaining white base is. I found it better to pat the colour on and not swipe because otherwise that removes the aqua colour paint. Anyway, I dabbed on the green paint and blended the two shades together, swapping to the yellow brush and merging the shades so they fade into each other. I also added some more yellow aqua paint around the edge of the green to get a good transition. And that's the coloured bases done, then I'm moving on to some pigments. I got out Sugar Pill Chromalust in Stella, which is this black pigment with blue and pink sparkles. I went back to the Real Techniques lip brush to pick up some pigment, tapped the excess off and then went about setting the black cream, covering the outer sections. I neatened up the diagonal lines with the pigment and refined the shape. Then I picked up this Sugar Pill Electrocute pigment called High Viz, which is some mega neon yellow with sparkles, and I grabbed the Sugar Pill lip brush again to press the sparkling neon pigment over the yellow area. I wasn't getting as much sparkle staying on my lips as I wanted, so I took some Furinate Pixie Epoxy onto the back of my hand and grabbed a bit on a pointed cotton bud and applied it on my lower lip. 
Then I picked up some more neon yellow and pressed it over the sticky base. This also helped overcome the patchiness of the aqua colour base from before. Next, keeping with the motive of sparkling and neon, I grabbed another Sugar Pill Electrocute pigment called Sparkage. I applied the glittery bright shade with the MAC 242 brush over the green section on the centre of my lips. I tried to keep a fairly distinct line between the black and the bright colours, however I once again blended out the centre shades, overlapping some more neon pigment, getting a nice gradient. And sometimes no matter what you're doing, you have to take a minute to just rock out. I'm enjoying the new Hailstorm album today, and it's really growing on me. I'm loving the lyrics to some of them, very cheeky. Then to add some sparkle to the black section, I got a couple of dark glitters from Eye Candy. The first one is a black glitter called Black Fart, and I'm taking it onto the Real Techniques lip brush again and patting it over the whole black section. I went back to a bit of Firenay Pixie Epoxy and applied that with the lip brush to make sure I got enough of the black glitter sticking to my lips. And lastly I've got Licorice Stick which is a slate grey glitter and is more sparkly than the black one. With the residual sticky base on my brush and lips I made sure I didn't go nuts with this one and I applied a light layer of the brighter glitter so it wouldn't make the black section too light. After I covered the whole area and made sure I got all the way into the corners of my lips I was done. I didn't want to do an exact replica of the Jamaican flag but more of an interpretation of it using the same colours and giving the feel of the party aspect of the shaggy gear. You can find all the details for the products I used in this lip art on my blog linked in the description box where you'll also find any affiliate links to the brushes and shadows I used. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this lip art tutorial and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and check out my podcast and band's music on iTunes. And you can actually see me just to the left of Shaggy's head in this picture he put up on Instagram. There I am. Now enjoy a bit of Shaggy hanging out and grooving with us. Thank you.